out your box and split and never come back here again. Go out to the hole. To the hole. Why are you shouting? And why are you asking? What a question! How can one simple guy make so much noise? I make a noise? I am in this wonderful skimmer, broad hazard. Listen and only to you. Can you not stop just for a moment? Did you lose something, madam? Oh. This ribbon, maybe. No, don't leave. I won't talk to you, sir. You're a bandit. Even a bandit doesn't deserve loneliness. A bandit, a robber, a brute. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
It's so easy to accuse. Always the same thing. Content, condemnation, hatred. What madness to expect anything different. You have only yourself to blame. <sighs> I know all that by heart. I should be used to it, but it does hurt. All that remains is music and loneliness. You love music? When you have no person to love, when everyone has turned against you, music is the only thing I have left in my loneliness. Well, anyone who loves music can't be completely bad. Let's not talk about it. Nobody will ever understand me. Why? We can talk! As long as it's not too loud. Maybe you could come nearer. Oh, no, no, no. Not for anything in the world. But we would be nearer. Out of the question. So, there are elements of good in you, sir? Destroyed. Crushed by society. Society has to protect itself from the likes of you. The other way around. It was a society that made me that way I am. If just one soul, one hand stretch it out, just a fragment of feeling. But no. Those are hallucinations. I must be bad, so I will be bad. I will play the part I'm given. You mustn't lose hope. <sighs> too late. It's never too late. Maybe you will, after all, come nearer. <laughs> Why? My husband. I'm afraid he'll wake. Goodbye. Where to? The forest. We are going to talk. I must not put you at risk. Why? We can talk. As long as it's not too loud. It cannot be done more quietly. Just wait a moment. No, I am lost. I will take my path to the end. One moment. I hate you. Yes, you bring back hope to me, but then this illusion man will follow and I will feel even worse, even lonelier, even more in pain. It's better not to have hope. You are playing with me. And now it is you who do me wrong with such a, such a judgment. Yours is a cruel game. Do you not trust? I hate you doubly. Awakening me a hope that cannot be fulfilled. You inspire my hatred. So I hate you because I must hate you. Whereas, whereas I... What? It doesn't matter. Why don't you tell me? Whereas I feel other feelings present up. What feelings? I must not name them. Why not? Feelings that are the direct opposite of hatred. Oh, you're only tormenting yourself, sir. Why don't you try to trust me just a little? Trust? I had it once. I was a trusting, confident fox. But then the world untaught me trust, and I said to myself, never again. It's not my fault, and now you're accusing me. You know, to trust, one must have a minimum proof that one can trust. For example? If you wish to calm down lower. Oh, no, 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 not that. So, there we are. You don't trust me. I trust you, but... And yet you hesitate. Surely. I have reason. So where is the trust? You demand trust, but you? Do you trust me? But you must admit that in my situation... Farewell, hope. All right. But not too close. Do you trust me now? A little. Only a little? You're afraid of me. 
Which means that you still don't trust me. That's true, but I too need a sign, not a proof. Uh, then I will give you more than a sign. Uh, I will give you a proof that you can trust me completely. Here is where you're going to lost. Please, tie me up. Tie you up? Yes, please tie my hands. Uh, I give myself up to you totally. Can there be a greater proof of trust? I don't really know. Please. Like a lamb, you will tie me up from top to toe and along the hairs. Is it far? In the forest, close by. All right, I'll just keep something on. Oh, must you? I'll be right back. What amuses Madame so much? You do a naive fox. That's very funny. Someone who waits and waits, waits and waits, waits and believes she'll go straight out. She won't come. She will tomorrow at the same time. But she said she will just sleep something on. Oh, and if that only if you're in luck, sir. She will certainly not finish any earlier. Sleeping on. <laughs> Painting herself. Oh, pale, naive Romeo. Painting herself. Great question. <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm curious what one does with something like that. Does one eat it? Because I can't imagine possibility of anything else. <laughs> you know, I don't intend to do anything else with her. Did your husband not tell you who I am? Uh, a fox? But... So what doubts can there be a fox? There for a murderer. Straight out, Madam, I wish to kill you. No, I have to say, Madam, I love you. I <laughs> cheat. Women as such don't interest me. I am impotent. And yet, you were quite convincing. I wonder why you're so sincere to me. Because you interest me. As a woman? Neither as a woman nor as a victim. Have you tried to treat it? It could be you never came across the right woman. It could be. But then, killing satisfies me completely. Oh, yours is a classic case. You kill because you're unable to love. You kill instead of... Ah, no. I like to kill. It makes me feel good. As a victim. 
are your regrets to say that you don't come into the reckoning? So, what is it you see in me that's different? At first glance, at least, exactly the same. Do you see any difference? Maybe one should take a closer look? No, no, let's change the subject. Are you afraid of me? No, but please, <laughs> don't come any closer to me. Okay, I won't come close to you, but now confess me, why are you afraid of me? There is something different about you. <laughs> different from that stupid end? Oh, there is no comparison. In presence of that one I feel nothing, whereas with you. In other words, something she doesn't have. Something which no other woman I've met so far has. Something in me that, that something arouses. What? Fear. Only fear? No. What else? Something equally exceptional. He's here to unknown to me. <coughs> I suspected as much. Something I fear <laughs> and desire at the same time. And that's why I ask you not to come closer to me. Oh, you poor thing. You're not supposed to come closer to me. It's just for your own good. But I'm frightened. No. That desire at the same time. No, I can't stand this. I'll cure you. No. Why me? 
To bed. Now. But why? What about my head? Oh, beautiful darling. <laughs> what are you still doing? Nothing for you here. The serenade is over. Adieu, Tubador. You'll get nothing here, even if you wait till morning. Go back to the forest. Wait. Where did you get this ribbon? Did you hear what I asked you? Where are you going? The forest. But what's your hurry? There is nothing for me here. What are you trying to say? And you? Where did you get this ribbon? This? I found it. You found it? He who finds doesn't need to look. For a ribbon? You can think what you like. Answer me this minute. <laughs> really? But why? Because, because I'm asking. And what do I care? <laughs> I'm out to ask. Of course. If done politely. So, what's happened? When? When I was asleep. Oh, when? <laughs> nothing special. But I still would like to know. But nothing important. Nothing or nothing important? Nothing important. If I don't find out, I show that. I could tell you. Yes, yes, tell me the truth. But in your ear only, you know. Just between the two of us. All right, let it be. It wouldn't do to say it out loud. I can't in front of the ladies. The ladies? Why not? Because... What? How? I heard nothing. Well, that's pity. Repeat it one more time. No, I heard nothing. Regret it. Because it was so interesting. I shall go mad. Especially to you. But I do it. But from this distance you won't hear anything. Oh, that's too bad. And if I came down lower? Well, that would be different. And then I will find out? Then without a doubt. I'm coming, Randall. I'm coming. 